Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with an Anglican perspective on questions for global Anglicans in the 21st century. And we're looking at the uh, Global South Covenant, uh, also known as the Cairo Covenant. And you will have a copy of this in the link below this video, and we invite you to follow along. We're actually on page eight uh, in section two on relational commitments. And in this covenanted communion, um, it's all about relationships. Uh, but it's relationships based on a doctrinal foundation. And in section two, uh, paragraph 1.9, uh, the members of this covenanted communion talk about the relationships that they have. And those relationships are around four areas. We embrace together, it says in paragraph 2.1.9, we embrace together the graces from the exalted Christ for the well-being and effective mission of his church. Number one, in mission and evangelism. Number two, in worship and liturgy. Number three, in discipleship and ministerial formation. And number four, in community service and economic empowerment. Those are the four areas in which all the members, bishops, dioceses, clergy, whole provinces, are going to be in communion with each other and doing that in very tangible ways in these four areas. Now, what we did in the American Anglican Council is to take this uh, over 30-page covenant and boil it down to five pages and actually make a, uh, a covenant instrument based on these four areas, evangelism and mission, worship and liturgy, discipleship and ministerial formation, and community service and economic empowerment. And then in our annual Bishops Leadership Summit, we have bishops from all over the world in places like Africa and South America and uh, Southern Asia and Southeast Asia. They come to, uh, to a conference center with our bishops and they pair up with each other. Uh, one of our American bishops to an overseas bishop. And they enter into this covenant and pledge to work with each other as a tangible sign of full communion with each other in these four areas. And it's a wonderful way that we're seeing the Anglican communion built up around this whole issue of mission. How do we win the next generation? How do we help people uh, develop uh, economic sustainability in their diocese? How do we help them uh, worship in the power of the Holy Spirit? How do we form ministers, clergy, lay ministers as well? And how do we do discipleship? How can we do this together? That's what this covenant is all about. It's not just a dusty old document about form and structure. It's about mission and practical, tangible ways in which we are taking this, putting feet on it, and bringing bishops together from all over the communion to do mission together.